drink yet so hide your beers please um, to to show that I do feel like a grown-up but I'm not one yet I uh, wore a beard this episode so if you guys like it, it would be good so go with, uh, I didn't know if it went with the tie but uh, in any event thank you so much for being here I can't do the show on my own so I want to thank my entire tech team for helping me put this together give it up for them guys very exciting lineup of guests here for episode 20 tonight, our special Deja Vu episode, which I will explain at a later time. But first, let's just get right into it, shall we? A report from the Government Accountability Office, my favorite government <laughs> office. What an oxymoron, am I right? Government <laughs> Accountability. Found that America's nuclear force control at the Pentagon still uses eight inch floppy disks. <laughs> the ones that debuted in 1976. I mean, these are old and large and very scary for nuclear weapons, but anyway, uh, this is worrisome to some, but what really shocked investigators was that to this day, we still base all naval strategy off a of battleship, which is, <laughs> I don't know why it shouldn't be. It's an updated version there. Very rare, very rare version of battleship. Republican Representative Dana Rohrbacher from California admitted to using marijuana for his arthritis pain without a prescription last week. Ooh, yes, exactly, exactly. Now, he is not the first legislator who's admitted to using marijuana illegally, but he is the first to admit it to a stunned Domino's delivery driver at two in the morning on a Sunday. <laughs> Want the garlic sticks or no? I don't, I can't tell. Speaking of medical marijuana, our own illustrious governor, Bruce Rauner, pull for applause. Pull for applause. Okay. Our own illustrious governor, Bruce Rauner, has voted to expand Illinois' medical marijuana program over the next three years. Yeah, I mean, that's a step in the right direction, right? And when asked why he did this and made this decision, the governor said he was tired of everyone asking him what the hell he's smoking. <laughs> Where's that budget? I just had it like a minute ago. I don't know where it's at, man. I don't know. Uh, also, a five-year-old kindergarten student was suspended last week after bringing a frozen-themed plastic bubble gun to class. Uh, so that's dangerous. It almost looks like a gun, I guess. Uh, but <laughs> authorities were called immediately, uh, and luckily they talked the child down by repeatedly yelling, Let it go! <laughs> Let it go! <laughs> we owe Disney a lot of money for that one. <laughs> the Navajo Nation. Uh, lost a court battle this week. This is a little confusing. They lost a court battle with clothing conglomerate, conglomerate Urban Outfitters last week. Yes, a judge ruled that the Navajo weren't, quote, get this, famous enough to sue for their trademark name being used by the hipster clothing giant. Now, no lawyers work on this show, but we at Good Evening must ask the tough questions. Like, when every white girl at Coachella dresses like you, how much more famous can you possibly be? <laughs> I'm not sure, but I love Coachella. <laughs> a Shell oil pipeline burst in Northern California this week, resulting in 21,000 gallons of oil to be spilled in Northern California. And uh, authorities have somberly reported that this is easily the worst disaster to happen to the region since the second season of True Detective. <laughs> circumstances. And finally, just to wrap up, guys, at a campaign stop in Santa Fe last week, former President Bill Clinton argued with a 24-year-old named Brody for a full 30 minutes <laughs> about Hillary Clinton's voting record on criminal justice and racial inequality. And uh, political insiders sadly report that they've yet to see anything encapsulate this election better than an old white guy named Bill and a young white guy named Brody arguing about what they think is best for black people. We've got a great show for you tonight. <laughs> Special Deja Vu edition of the show tonight because 
We have a special performance from Mike Gifford, The Broken Gay, in Not Too Short in Order. Musical performance from Show You Suck, accompanied by the Hood Internet. We are so excited to have these guys here. And a featured interview, guys, at the end of the show, coming up with Commissioner of Department of Water Management for the City of Chicago, Barrett Murphy. Excellent show. Excellent show. You know it's, you know it's special because I grew a beard. But first, before we get to all that, we're going to play a little game here at Good Evening. We like to play games.